Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Vime and today I'm going to show you how to add your game saves onto your memory cards for the SPSX2 emulator for Xbox. I'll have a link in the description to this, MyMC. It's a PlayStation 2 memory card image utility. Now with this, this is what's going to take your raw game saves and it's going to import them into the memory card. So what we're going to do is just go all the way down to the bottom, download MyMC, just download the Windows release right here. It should take about a minute. Let it download. Extract it onto your desktop, you should get a folder just like this. All right, now that we have this program, now what we have to do is grab our memory card files for our XPSX2. I bet. So for those who do not have a memory card already formatted, what you can do is go down to settings, go to the directory settings, head over to memory card, go to parent directory, go to your USB device, and then we're just going to put this in the PlayStation 2 folder that I created. Go to use this directory. Now, when you press B and you go to start BIOS, just give it a time, give it some time to boot. Once we are greeted with this screen, what we're gonna do is press on browser. Now you should see both memory cards. Now enter them. Make sure to format it. We're gonna do this with both memory cards no data perfect now do this with the second one formatted complete and then now once we have done this we're going to go back to our computer put our usb in and now we're going to take those memory cards and we're going to drag them right into our desktop now that we're back on the computer we're just going to plug in our usb going to open it up we're going to open up the location of where you added your memory card directory to your usb mine was just in the playstation 2 folder and right here we got both memory cards and now what we're going to do is drag and drop these right into our desktop all right now that we have done this so we have our memory cards here we have our game save that i'm looking to add to my memory card and we have our program already downloaded what we're going to do is open up this my mc click on my mc gui all right, and then once this program opens up, it's gonna immediately open up the memory card image. So right here, it should by default already try to find your memory card, but if it doesn't, just head down, look for it, click on it, and then click on open. And then once we click on open, what we're gonna do is right here on this little icon right here with the green arrow, just click on this. Now what we're gonna do is look for our game save that we are adding to our PlayStation 2 memory card. So for this example, I will be using my Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 game save. This is a CBS file. So what we're gonna do is just click on this, hit open, and just like that, you could already see the game save right here. Over to the right, you can do stuff with the images. You turn off the animation for the icons and whatnot. But once you import and you see your game save pop up right here, you're completely done. And then all we're going to do is just exit out of this. All right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back onto my USB. I'm going to delete this memory card one that I just changed. And then I'm going to drag the one from my desktop right into it. And then just give it some time to load. All right, and then once that's transferred, we're going to go back on our Xbox. I bet now that we plugged our USB back into the Xbox and we opened up SPSX2, I'm going to head over to the BIOS again, just so we can look inside the contents of the memory card. Now we're going to hit browser. Go into memory card one. And just like that, that's my Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 game save that we just transferred onto my memory card. I hope this helped. If it did, please hit that like and follow for more, and I'll catch y'all later.